EU Mind is basically an initiative that our school has taken up. We have connected to another school in uh, New Netherlands, and um, uh, we are working on different projects of um, sustainable development. How much art material do you estimate is wasted every month? Um, I think it is minimal. Uh, it's difficult to kind of put a figure to it. Uh, because we try to minimize the waste and we are uh, very very conscious about it especially when it comes to paper so we try to recycle and reuse you know one side used paper because if we are doing the uh, bigger paintings we try to preserve them and use it again um, by maybe retouching them a little bit or maybe uh, or using them for some other event so that is also something which we try to do ma- maximum times and what are the general trends you see when it comes to the volume of the waste produced by the school so like during which months is it the highest and which months is it the lowest if I you had it's when we do paper craft then yeah. it's more yeah and, and uh, paper craft happens during uh, festivals events yeah yeah annual events like you know the uh, cultural day in may or diwali christmas uh, you know diwali mela yeah yeah around that time other art classes happen virtually and students have to now purchase and use their own materials how do you think the waste management is different like obviously there isn't waste uh, any waste being generated in school because there's no material being used in school but what do you think like when you see the students do their art at home Do you hmm. think they use more waste, less waste? Do you think there are any ways they can minimize the waste they generate at home? So we try to tell them that okay, don't throw. But I've seen in many places, you know, they cut one little bit of uh, a pattern from some paper and they throw the ne- the rest of the paper. So it has happened, and uh, you know, it's difficult for us to communicate also online because we don't know what they are doing with that paper. whatever is left over so in school we could see we could do mm-hmm. work something especially for the craft thing it yeah. is bit challenging so um, we do try to tell them like how do you make sure they clear up every single thing they do after they're done with the work we tell them like i uh, we mentioned that we can tell them that yeah we are giving you 5 minutes to wind up whatever is there before the next teacher joins in so that much of an uh, you know effort we make but whether they do it or not they yeah, are acting yeah like my brother is in primary and i see him in his art classes so often i think the teachers are doing a fabulous job of making sure they clear up because every single day he packs up his own stuff and that's oh, something wow. everybody in my house is very happy about any other ending thoughts about the waste management going on um, related to art We also like to, um, you know, learn properly how to recycle paper, you know, mm-hmm. into making handmade paper. Because though we know the process theoretically, but we don't have the actual resources to make paper. Mm-hmm. So we would like to get those machines so that you know this this whole process of recycling is not like Varsha Ma'am said that what do you do with that waste. so we could kind of convert it into paper in our school only thank you so much for your time ma'am sorry ma'am shalaka ma'am thank you it's been really thank you